Spirit. We're here to celebrate the baptism of two beautiful kids. And I lost my little script book here. I, mean, I could do it without it, but the church likes me to follow the rules. Okay. John and Brenda, please come forward with more. What name do you wish to give your children? Kira, Ryan, and Fiona Claire. Kira, Ryan, and Fiona Claire. And what do you ask of God's church for Kira and Fiona? Yeah. Baptism. You have asked to have your children baptized. In doing so, they are, you are to accept the responsibility of training them in the practice of the faith. It will be your duty to bring them up according to God's commandments, as Jesus taught us, by loving God and our neighbor. John and Bernadette, do you clearly understand what you're undertaking? Godparents, please step forward. As godparents, are you ready to help Bernadette and John as their duty as Christian parents? We are. Fiona, the Christian community welcomes you with great joy. In its name, I sign you in the sign of the cross. I invite your parents and godparents to do the same. We ask the Lord to bless us as we pray our prayer of the faithful or intercessions on behalf of Fiona and Kira. Let us ask the Lord to look lovingly on them and their parents, godparents, and sister, and all of us who are baptized. And we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. By the mystery of your death and resurrection, bathe these children in light and give them new life of baptism by water and the Holy Spirit. We pray. By the mystery of faith, through baptism and confirmation, make them your faithful followers and witnesses to your gospel, we pray. Lead them by a holy life to the joys of God's kingdom, we pray. Keep their families, Reagan and Reynolds, always in your love, we pray. And renew the grace of our own baptisms, we pray. And now we pray for what we call the Litany of the Saints, now, St. Kira, I don't know, is there a St. Kira in Ireland? What's her middle name? Fiona Claire. Claire? Okay, St. Claire, St. Claire, yeah. Francis, and what's her middle name? Ryan. Ryan. Is there a St. Ryan? No. What's her first name? Fiona? It's Kira. Kira? <laughs> okay. Well, we hope the saints will watch over them anyway. Okay, let's pray. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. St. John the Baptist. St. Joseph. St. Claire. St. Patrick and all the Irish saints, Columba, etc., St. Peter and St. Paul, and the guardian angels, and all holy men and women, pray for us. The first blessing is called the blessing of exorcism, and I'm going to bless the chest of the children. So who's in charge of the holy oil? That's the oleo sancto. Okay, you're going to come over here. Exorcism places the child in God's protection. Hold, you hold it, okay? And I'm going to bless the chest of each of the children. And you're going to constantly be reminding me of who's who. Fiona, right. Fiona almighty and ever-living God, has sent the Spirit of the Holy Spirit to cast out the power of Satan, the prince of evil, and to rescue all people from the kingdom of darkness and bring us into the splendor of the light of his kingdom. We pray for Fiona, set her free from original sin, along with her twin sister, Kira. Let me reach under there. Make them temples of the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit, we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. We anoint you with the oil of salvation, in the name of Christ, that you be strengthened, by his holy power, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Okay, you can cap that. And put that back over there. Hey, 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 stop kicking your feet. Stop. It's distracting. That's good. And now we ask the Lord to bless this water. It's warm water that we have taken from the earth. God gives us all creation, and so we pray. Brothers and sisters, God uses the sacrament of water to give us his divine life. Let us now turn to him and ask him to pour his gift of life on this font as he blesses Kira and Fiona. Father, you give us grace through sacramental signs which show the wonders of your unseen power. 
In baptism, we use your gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of the grace that you give us in this sacrament. At the dawn of creation, the Holy Spirit breathed on waters, making them wellsprings of holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of waters of baptism that put an end to sin and the beginning of new life and goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people, set free from sin by baptism. By the waters of the Jordan, Jesus, your son, was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Jesus willed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung on the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Father, look with love upon your church and unseal for us the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Holy Spirit, give to the water of this font the grace of Jesus, your Son. You created us in your own likeness, cleanse us from sin, and give us new birth to innocence by water and the Holy Spirit. We ask you, Father, to send the Holy Spirit upon this water. Amen. Parents and godparents, you have come here to present Kira and Fiona for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, they are to receive the gift of new life from God, who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring them up and influence them in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives them is kept safe from the poison of sin and bad example, to grow always strong in their hearts. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, I invite you and the family gathered here to renew your own baptismal vows and promises, rejecting sin and professing your faith in Christ Jesus our Lord. Because this is the faith of the church, and this is the faith in which these children are to be baptized. And so I ask you, do you reject Satan and all of his works and all of his empty promises? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died and was buried, who rose from the dead and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body and everlasting life. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Bernadette and John, is it your will that Kira and Fiona should be baptized into the faith of the church which we have just professed? Who's first? And the godparents will try that. Okay, you're going to hold her over here. Kira, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Good. I like that, huh? That your father was holding it. I didn't do it. Where is it? Fiona? I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And now the second anointing is the anointing with chrism. And that's going to be on the crowns of their heads. So who's in charge of the chrism? Okay, come over here. <clears throat> Take off the top. The chrism is the oil that we use in the church. It's consecrated at the, at the vigil of Easter, Holy Thursday. And we use it for ordination of priests, consecration of churches, altars, chalices, and we use it of confirmation and baptism. The word chrism comes from the word anointed, same root of the word for Christ. So today, these two Christians are now being anointed with the oil of salvation. God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you both from sin and given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and welcomed you into his kingdom as his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation. As Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so may you always share as a member of his body everlasting life. Okay. And after the baptismal ceremony, you can smell the chrism because it's, it's perfumed as a way of reminding us that all parts of our body can give praise to God. Okay. Cut that. 
Thank you. Good job. And now we're going to clothe each child with a white garment. They have beautiful white dresses on, but each of the children who have been assigned to give me the white garments. Somebody forgot. <clears throat> you forgot. You give me the white garment? Yes. Okay. And you're going to hand it to me like that? Stand up. And who has, who has the other one? That's it. Nice. Come over here. Oh, he went away. Okay. So you're going to put it. Okay. Put the white garment on the child you're representing. And you put it on the other one. You have become new creations. You have clothed yourself in Christ. Thank you. See in these white garments the outward sign of, a sign of your Christian dignity with your family and friends to keep you, by word and example, holy. Bring the dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. Amen. And now the children are going to give me the candles. Okay. You can give them to the godparent, godfathers. So give one to Tommy and one to. All right. Okay. And they're going to light them from the Christ candle. These candles are small versions of this candle, which is called the Paschal candle. It is the symbol of Christ in our lives. It is blessed at the Easter vigil, the day of the resurrection. And the symbol, of course, is that Christ is sharing his life and promises of eternal life with Kira and Fiona. <clears throat> Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. These children of yours have been enlightened by Christ. They are to walk always as children of light. And may Jesus Christ watch over them as each of them keeps the flame of faith alive in their hearts through your example. When the Lord comes, may she, each of them, Fiona and Kira, go out to meet all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Amen. The next blessing is over the ears and mouths of our children. And you'll hear the words which are appropriate for each of them. The Lord made the deaf hear and the dumb speak. May he soon touch your ears to hear his word and your lips that you may praise it through Christ our Lord. Can we share, may the Lord hear? I'm going to just share that binky. That's it. Binky out, hand in, binky back in quickly. So we ask the Lord <clears throat> through the example of the family and prayer that the words of God go into their ears and come out their, their mouths through example. Kira, you have put on Christ. In him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. I see. You like that? You like that? Okay. <laughs> Fiona, you have put on Christ. In him you have been baptized. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Got it. Move your hands. <laughs> In him you have been baptized. Aspect. Alleluia, alleluia. Okay, like a little princess. See, they're all clapping for you. Okay. And I invite Bernadette and John forward. As we pray for the parents, I also ask all of you to pray for Kira and Fiona and their godparents and parents that today be the beginning of their new life together and that they praise God in the midst of the church. In the, and in the name of these children, we pray together. Please stand. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. John will now play a baptism song that he has prepared for Kira and Fiona.
Pray that. God, the Father of life, may he bless you, John, the father of these children. You and Bernadette will be the first teachers of these children in the ways of faith. And may they, you also be the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith by what you say and do. Bernadette, through Jesus Christ, the Virgin Mary's son, the Lord God, Father, has brought joy to all Christian mothers as they see the hope of eternal life shine through their children. May he bless you, mother of Kira and Fiona, thanking God for the gift of your children. And may they, with Mora, be one with you together in thanking him forever in heaven. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Congratulations. We have two new Christians as part of the family. And the children with the candle boxes give it back to the godparents. On behalf of the parish, John and Bernadette Kira has been baptized and as a member of the church. Congratulations. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Our celebration has ended. Thank you, children, for your assistance. Not bad.